Used to the city, now we got our own land Life's getting real busy, busy. none of it was ever planned Got the crib looking pretty, pretty. with a garden full of plants Plans. And we built our own committee, yeah. from the bottom we advanced yeah. Back to our roots, roots. now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots, Put on. it's time to go take off your suit so. Back to our roots, yeah. yeah. now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots it's time to find with Cheryl Swoops right now, right now, yeah, yeah, right now, right now. All right, guys, so we have quite a few um, plants that we will be taking out into the garden today. Um, as you can see over here, we have some red okra and some regular okra. These I have to thin out. I've thinned a lot of them out already, but I did miss a couple, as you can see. So I'll be doing that. We got some squash and zucchini here. Let me move this because they're just so, look how pretty this is. Yeah, the squash and zucchini is going crazy. Look at that. It's time. Mm -hmm. So pretty. And then we got, let me see y'all, I got to look at my sign. We got some green beans here. The J green beans. They're growing like crazy. Rob, the sapper. They ready, buddy. Look at them. And these are all cucumbers. They're just different kind. This is the Chicago pickling here. Um, yep, that one. <laughs> the yellow one. Y'all know this one. <laughs> yeah. And then we got uh, Market Moor and what is this? Puna. Puna Kana. Puna Kira. Something Puna like something cucumber. Yeah. These are all cucumbers. Um, the poblanos still have not germinated back here. We got jalapenos. This is the Is that Tam? Yeah. Tam jalapeno pepper. The nada. The nada peppers. Uh, Ozark giant and yellow monster. Yeah. And then we got the habanadas here. This datil did not germinate, but that one did. Yeah. All well, the habanadas did. The cayenne. One of the tabascos did. The other one did not. Mm -hmm. uh, Moringa is still. You waiting? We're working on we'll it. Be patient. And then we got our mini bell peppers here and our banana peppers here. So these we're not taking out, obviously, but the rest of those we will be moving to our, I'm gonna say our infamous blue buckets. <laughs> and over here we have. I can't see that. What was this? Um, These that's are the peppers. Bull, bull nose. Okay, bull nose peppers. We're gonna need those right here. We got eggplant. Your favorite. Y'all notice we only have two because <laughs> I didn't want any, but y'all see how much he does not listen to me. <laughs> so we got two eggplants and we got two sunflowers here. Look yeah, at I'm, these, I'm so get, beautiful. I'm gonna get those out today. Yep, so these were taken out today. Look at our peaches and cream corn, y'all. Yep, corn's doing good. So excited. So excited <laughs> um and socks will be having his catnip in a minute that's his weed his this cat is weed. his catnip <laughs> <laughs> um our mustards are doing good our red mustards you guys can see i'll be thinning these out quickly yeah and then we got what is this oh tomatoes yeah the mushroom we got some tomatoes here so this is our strawberry plant y'all we did have a strawberry on it my uncle just ate it uh -huh. i forgot the culprit <laughs> the culprit is right on here it. it just looked too juicy for me to leave it on that branch <laughs> and what you will not do is blame it on my cat <laughs> and then we got our that's watermelon this? uh oh, yeah, strawberry watermelon yeah those are watermelons from oh. uh damn it uh permaculture y'all he snuck this out here on me i yeah, didn't see those got some watermelons out here they and came up good. Some, uh, they did. Pepper, yeah. pepper hot scotch, something. Yeah, they, those are hot peppers, <laughs> so they're gonna take a minute to germinate. And then we got our leafy Asian greens here. Look how pretty this is. Yeah. And then this is our five color Swiss chart. Yep. So we got a lot of work to do. We will be heading over to the big garden to start transplanting them into the buckets. All right, guys. Hey guys, it's us. We're here. We're okay. Um, I know it's been a while since we put a video out um, and several of you have reached out to us to check on us, but we are here. We're okay. Um, thank you. We appreciate you guys um, recognizing and noticing we've been missing. Um, no, seriously, we're very grateful. Um, but this video, we actually started shooting two or three days ago and then we've had rain 
since then. So it's kind of halted us a little bit um, to come out here and finish working in the garden. But today we got a little bit of sunshine, but it's still pretty chilly, guys. It's um, it's 60 degrees. Yeah, it's pretty cold for this time of year for us. Yeah, it's uh, and somebody's saying hi over there. Y'all haven't seen him since he got his little comb, did you? <laughs> hi, dude. He got direct TV dish on his head. <laughs> Leave my cat alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, like I said, we started shooting this video about three days ago. It started raining, so we had to stop a little bit. But in the interim, um, my husband and my brother, they've been doing a little bit of work in the wood shop over there. And they were able to put together a trellis for us for our cucumbers. So you guys, come on, let me show you. The trellis that they built and just some of the work that we were able to do prior to all of the rain that we got. The onions looking good too guys. Filling out. We're gonna cut the grass here this week, get everything back in order. Been put a little fertilizer down on the grass. Some, but if you wanna just And here's what's left. Uh of course we planted the stuff that some we started this video about. We planted all this stuff, but we'll show you when we get out there. Um, and we planted some of the cucumbers, but we haven't gotten them all out yet. Yep. Got more cucumbers. These are peppers. Um, all these are peppers. The mini bell peppers, all of those came up. Hi, bud. And uh, banana peppers. So, just waiting to plant those. And so, I'll tell you guys while you're showing, because I'm sure somebody's going to say, why does he have that, as my husband said, that satellite dish on his head? He actually got neutered. Um what about two weeks ago yep about two weeks ago or a week and a half and he has to keep this on uh for three weeks <laughs> so he won't be you know trying to go down there and mess with stuff but yeah. him did it. Hi, bud, bud. so anyway back to work and here's uh we have sunflowers they're doing good and we are going to take all of this guys and put it in the big buckets we just yeah. like i said haven't the rain slowed us down a bit those bull are they coming are up. coming up. Their eggplant There's is good. One. These are all coming up. The corn is doing good. All those are corn. The catnip is doing good. And these are red mustards. The new the red ones. mustards that I will be thinning out. <laughs> yeah, they need it. Yeah, they do. Um, tomatoes. What we got here? Some tomatoes. That parsley's coming up too. This curly parsley is. The strawberry. Strawberry. It's about ready. And those are watermelons. Watermelons. And our leafy greens. So our leafy, the Asian, uh, leafy Asian greens. And those are Swiss chard. And that and the bok choy, purple bok choy will be going into our round beds out here. We'll show you when we get them up. Yeah. So anyway, we've missed you guys too. Just so you know. We've been doing a lot of work out here um, when I could. Look at all this pollen. It's on this table. Yeah, that pollen uh, has been messing with your allergies. Yes, it wears me out, especially at night. It's really bad. Right. And just in case you guys are wondering, because I'm sure they're like, dang, y'all, that we can't realize or see we need to cut our grass. <laughs> well, I fertilized it, so I wanted it to grow. We'll cut it this weekend. We'll get out of it. It is, it is coming yeah. along. Excuse me, sir. Doing exactly what we wanted to do. Um, you want to start with the potatoes? We can start. Oh, these look really nice. These are yeah, starting, starting to, to come up. Yep. And this one right here, but this one, these, oh, this one's nice. Grow bags. That one's coming up. What are you doing, dude? The other ones are doing real good. Here are our collards. The collards. I'm so happy. But we will be uh, harvesting these real soon. Yep. Because if you guys can see on some of them, the those old pesty bugs and insects are starting to come back. You see, and yeah. so they're starting to. And we've had these from before the storm. I yeah. think we we planted these last maybe August or September. So we've they just keep producing. So we'll keep at it. He wants some little attention. All right, and here we have. Here we have squash. Yep, squash and zucchini. Yep, doing really well. Green beans. So that's squash. That's squash. That's squash. That's squash and zucchini. Mm -hmm. And green beans are all right here. Green beans. They're doing really well. Yeah. Look at this. This is doing really well. Spinach. Here's a spinach. I mean, no, that's lettuce. That's lettuce. Spinach here. Spinach. 
I don't know what's going on with that one. Now look at that. She takes this one off. Yeah. Yeah. Here, kitty. That's Swiss mm -hmm. chard. Which tastes really good, guys. Especially with the spinach. Mm hmm Swiss chard, spinach. And that's more spinach. Okay. And this was another lettuce, but it, it I don't know what happened to it. It just flattened out. Yeah, it is nothing. It's gone. Go toward the light, Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> Head toward the light. <laughs> he Caroline, gone. How many, you guys, how many of y'all know that movie? <laughs> Poltergeist? Tell, I used to be so scared of that movie. Tell them my age. And this is broccoli. Me too. Mm -hmm. This is pretty broccoli too. No heads yet, but leaves are going good. And then we just got some buckets here. Because again, this, what are we going to put in these? Um, The rest, these are already, I've already, we've already made them up. So these are for uh, red mustards and the two eggplant and this is just uh, some more collards and uh, mustard greens yeah, that we have. Those are about done. Yeah, so I'm sitting up. And then we got more potatoes. Oh, I'm sorry, I could have gone there. Yeah. Yeah, all of these have germinated. Yeah, they're doing good. They're doing good. So if you want to know if the grow bags work? Yes. But Miss Linda, I'm not gonna say we're doing good until we get your approval. That's right. I know you know about your potatoes. Sure do. And I ain't about to question it. <laughs> <laughs> this is kohlrabi. All of this is. Yeah, all these are kohlrabi. Most of them are doing good. Them. That one's struggling, yeah. and that one's struggling. Doing really well. For the most part, they're all doing pretty good. Cabbage. Yeah, we have cabbage over here. Um, this is one of the old ones. It's a, it's, it made it through. It's about ready. And then all of these are the new flock. So pretty. I'm saving the trellis. <laughs> um, and this is all okra. Red yeah. okra and just regular okra. Yeah, this all we did really good with okra last year in these buckets. Grew a lot of it and got tons of it off all the way into what October or November? November. Yeah. So we did good. All right, and then we got cucumbers. We got cucumbers over here by your beautiful trellis. The trellis me and Earl. Well, you'll see a video in here. Well, I'm sure you've already watched it, but. We built this uh, out in the shop. It's a nice trellis. Um, and it's really stable too. Four by fours, two by fours, and uh, 16 foot uh, cattle panel, I mean a uh, hog panel. So it turned out pretty nice. And then the cucumber we have is the Chicago, Chicago, Chicago pickling and the yellow. Cause <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, then we have uh, Marky Moores and yeah. uh, the other one, Puna Connors, some Puna Connors or something like that over Cucumber. there. Cucumber. Yeah. So we'll get them out too. But uh, here's the trellis. Pretty nice. Maybe I'm a little biased. <laughs> there go Direct TV. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we just wanted to give you guys a update of what's going on. We got some, um, we got the round uh, beds done out here, so we'll be uh, putting some stuff in here so soon. So once we get that done, we'll film it and show you guys uh, what we're doing out here. Yeah, so this is it. Um, like I said, we still have some more work we got to do, but the rain slowed us down a little bit. But just wanted to give you guys a little um, quick update on what we've been up to what we've been doing and um now you know so again guys thank you for all the support all the love we appreciate you um continue to subscribe tell somebody else to subscribe because we like subscribers <laughs> um anyway thank you guys for everything just really appreciate you but like always everybody please stay safe stay blessed and stay healthy see you next time on back to our roots homestead See you on the other side, guys. All right, guys, I'm out in the in our workshop out here with my brother-in-law, Mr. Earl. 
Um, we building a trellis for the cucumbers or anything that might need to vine up out in the garden. So Earl, you want to explain what you're doing? Okay, so what we're doing, we're gonna make a simple, I come up with this, this idea just to make a very plain and simple, but effective. So we're gonna, I'm basically gonna have a, what would be like an upside down T. And I, if you look, I made the cuts in the up, the upright is gonna actually inset inside of the, the bottom post. So I went, come in with the saw and made a lot of smaller cuts, a little bit, a little tedious, but it, it, it'll be, the end result will be perfect. So the upright will basically sit right down inside of this one and we're gonna bolt it in from the bottom side. I'll inset the bolts, get it set up, and then we're gonna put a cattle panel across the, across the, the uh, post and that way the, uh, any any type of uh, plant that they're planting will be able to vine up and actually be able to walk on both sides of it and take the take the vegetables off the vine. You have one board that's already finished, right? Yeah. Over here. And, uh, let me see. I'll show you. This is basically what it will look like. Here's one that's already been done, already cut out, and the upright post will sit in there like so and it'll be bolted from the bottom side and bolt right into the upright all right guys well we'll show you the as we move along we'll show you a stages of it um the caliper panel is over here all right guys see you in a second all right ladies and gentlemen we're back now and uh I've got all my, my pieces cut for my uh, my uprights and my, my tee, so what I'm going to show you is just how I assemble it all together. As you can see, we've got a recessed knot cut in here, notch, excuse me. And what I did was come in in the back with Forstner bits. I think it was 764 Forstner bit, just kind of recessed uh, the back of it. I'm going to put three uh, headlock, six inch headlock screws in it. To lock everything in. Show you how we did this. Just lay it down and I'll take my upright. Get it in there. I just pushed it in. It's a good tight fit. Six inch headlock screws. And I'm just going to come in from the bottom my pre made holes. And just drop it Stand up like so, and I've cut me some uh, some pork uh, pieces out of two by four. So I'm gonna come in on the side and gonna put some pork pieces coming off with an angle up the top, so it'll keep it from tipping over if it gets windy or anything. And uh, we already got one made and assembled, so I'll walk you over and show you exactly what it's what it's gonna look like. And the reason why we're doing it, we're actually going with the concept to actually, uh, I know we see a lot of people that will actually put their, uh, when they build their, uh, their trellis, they'll actually put it in the ground. We would come up with the idea we want to keep it, keep it uh, mobile so we can, we can set it up where we want it and anytime we want to take it down, we can go right back out and disassemble it and move it where we want it and set it right back up. So we got two more of these to make. Um, and then we'll take it out to the garden and then we'll add the camel panel and we'll show you guys the finished product All right guys Yeah, right now, right now. Yeah, yeah, back to our roots, back to our roots Back to our roots